Restart it. Okay, sweet. Do you wanna do you wanna move him somewhere? Yeah, let me do the timer back up here. Okay. Um see, he's also got a I legit have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. That's okay. To be fair, I, this is going to go relatively quickly. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Once the action gets started, everyone's just going to fucking die. All right, round two. Uh, actually, let me do this real quick. This is to kind of do some finalizing prep stuff. Uh, Vlad, anything else you want to do? Are you good there? Going back into hybrid form, and I'm going to get on the top of one of those columns. Okay, sweet. Where I can see everybody. Okay, sounds good. How, how high are the columns? Are they higher than this? Or about the same Yeah, height? they're higher than that. Oh, uh, here. You can use this guy. Can I put it off to the side? You stand a little higher. For all you know, he's up here. Maybe not. Nah. <laughs> That's for Gerald. All right. Sigh. Oh, and I will like that. It's now I took my action, so yeah, I'm just gonna stay invisible. Okay. Uh, what's I gonna do? Sigh. So you wanna stay where he is? Um, everybody saw him drop that smoke bomb, so he's going to actually move over here. Give me another stealth roll. Activate his invisibility. Oh, nice. Because you gave him the penumbra armor too. I did. Too many goddamn rogues. <laughs> No, I don't have penumbra armor, so I don't worry about it. That's true. <laughs> I just have toys. There's three goddamn rogues in this battlefield. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be twenty nine. Heinous damage. Oh wait a minute. Sorry, thirty one. Okay, nice. Forgot invisible gives you Evander. Advantage. Uh, Evander is just gonna go ahead and he's gonna climb up this column with the spider boots. Okay, you can move that platform over. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna chill. Cool beans. You want to, uh, him to roll a stealth? No, he has 32. You're good. Okay. That's really good. Uh, Amch is in the ethereal plane. Yeah. Now, how does that work as far as movement? Is there a way I can. I can... Now, let me check. The, it goes by the rules of the spell. Etherealness? Mm hmm. I don't know what the rate is. Right. That's, that's what I need to figure out. Like, how, I mean, I can. With the old steed, I can move all across the battlefield. That's not a problem, but I just need to know how like how it lines up. His, his fly speed's 90, so yeah. 200. Hmm? 200. His fly speed is 90. Oh, fly's 90, never mind. Well, it was 200. Something was 200. You might have 200 hit points. It might be it. Yeah, fly speed's 90. Yeah. Okay, so it goes by the rules of the ethereal and the spell when you can do that. Um, you step into the border regions of the ethereal plane in the area where it overlaps with your current plane. You remain in the border ethereal for the duration, which is uh, eight, up to eight hours. Um, I'm assuming it's different for a nightmare. Yeah, it can go to and fro. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, it, that's the whole point of the spell, yeah. is to and fro. During this time, you can move in any direction. If you move up or down, every foot of movement costs an extra foot. Okay. You can see and hear the plane you originated from, but everything looks gray and can, can't see anything more than 60 feet away. You can only affect and be affected by other creatures on the ethereal plane. Creatures that are not on that plane cannot perceive you and cannot interact with you unless a special ability or magic is given the, the ability to do so. You ignore all objects and effects that aren't on the ethereal plane, allowing you to move through objects you perceive on the plane you originated from. When the spell ends, you immediately return to the plane you originated from in the spot you currently occupy. If you occupy the same spot as a solid object or creature when this happens, you're immediately shunted to the nearest unoccupied space that you can occupy and take force damage equal to twice the number of feet you have moved. Oh, nice. Oh, you are moved. Okay. So, like, if he goes into here, yeah. gets shunted out that way, that many feet times, yeah. Times um, two. Fair enough. Spell has no effect if you cast it while you're on the ethereal plane or a plane that does not border it, such as one of the outer planes. So actually, you can't jump back and forth. Yul's D can. Oh yeah, Yul. That yeah, that's a nightmare ability. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I'm just gonna. So every two feet. That's you up and down. Left and right's one to one. 
No, no. Wait, I'm sorry, never mind. Every feet yeah. up and down is doubled. Oh. Yeah. It's like Every foot up and down. Flying double? Yeah. But going regular, this is regular, just going across. Okay. Yeah, it's a... Uh, you can move in any direction. If you move up or down, every foot of movement costs an extra foot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, where are you going to go? I'm just going to move to the middle. Just the very center of it. Okay. And then... Uh, count it because it's got 90 or 60 walking, so we're good. I think he's going to sit there. He's going to chill. Very cool. Go very cool. Out. Chiron. Okay. Drop some more toys off. I didn't realize yeah. I could see things in the regular plane from there. Yeah. That, Makes things very. I don't know why I haven't done this before. It's <laughs> mm. fucking night crawler sh shit. I'm not aiming anywhere, but I just want to toss one to this general area over here. Do I? Do you want me to roll for that or just? Uh, you just toss it. Okay. So I'll say here's a good spot. Okay. I'm gonna move into this room here. Mhm. Mm and is there anything in here of interest? Give me a perception check. That's a good question. Yeah, good for you. Is that Thor? No, it's Jeremy Clark. Sixteen. Top gear. Uh huh. Sixteen. No, I can call ten on that. Never mind. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, you do on the table in there. There's a series of uh, like buttons slash levers. No, there. Okay. There are. Four. No, is that right? I might do this one way in here as well. Three, four, yeah. There are four buttons. Uh, there are no levers. I'm sorry. There's just four buttons, like on, on, on this table, that are not labeled. Fun. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but we'll say for the sake of differentiation that they are numbered. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Okay, um, then I will move over to the side here a little bit, and I will cast Blink. Blink? Blink. Which lets, you, trickster. which lets you teleport? It allows me at the end of my turn to roll a d20. If I roll 11 or higher, I move to the ethereal plane. Yeah, it's pretty much a, a low oh, level shit. etherealness. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, if I fail, I don't move. Um, but it lasts for up to a minute. Concentration? Uh, no, it's just... Actually, no, it just, just lasts a minute. Last a minute. Oh, Sorry, sweet. I don't know why so it lasts to. ten rounds. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, That's on. very cool. And while I'm in the ethereal plane, I can actually move up to ten feet. Okay. Uh, from where I vanished from. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Eisenschmidt. <sighs> It's funny. It goes me, me, you, you, Jesse, Jesse. Uh-huh. That's interesting uh, how it worked out that way. <laughs> right? Um. Oh, things in the way. I was going to move him, like, over here-ish. Okay. And then I was going to have him cast Invisibility. Oh, nice. Because he has okay. it. Give so. me a uh, stealth roll with advantage, because you're invisible. Look at his stealth stuff. Oh, really good actually. Except my rolls are shit. But it's still a... 24. 24, okay. Got it. Damn it, that's a concentration spell. And an action to cast. Alright. Let it begin. Vlad. What can I see from what I am? Perception check. This is going to be crazy. Uh, have, have him re-roll stealth check for me. He did move. 31. 31, okay. Um, I beat that. What's the what's perception? 37. Damn. Okay. I'm a 19 bonus. Uh, so from where you are, the only person that you can see is Evan. Up uh, from my well, how, how high is spilling over here? Oh yeah, size invisible and Eisenschmidt's invisible. Fuck, everybody's invisible. Uh, like just about everybody's invisible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you go ethereal? 
I did not. I actually just rolled to check. Okay. I rolled a ten. So I am I am <clears throat> within sight. But can I see his little toys in the ground? Uh, with a thirty-seven. I can Probably. see everything. Probably. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised I can't see into the ethereal plane. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. They're just loose toys um, dropped by a tinker. It's like those are very strange. Looks like something Blinsky made. <laughs> um, can Evander see me? Uh, we don't know yet. You haven't attacked yet. I'm gonna say no. Uh, roll perception. Uh, he's invisible. No, I can't get his stealth anyway. You can't get to <laughs> 37? Not, not impossible, no. Okay, cool. No, he cannot see you. Cool. That's great. Um, I'm gonna attack him two times. Because you gave me an extra attack. Mm-hmm. You only get a sneak attack on one. Uh, that, that doesn't matter. Sneak attack work ranged? Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So long as you are unseen. I'm going to go ahead and cast Hunter's Mark on him. Great. Because I almost forgot I had that. Yeah, we're just, just chilling. He's just sitting on his post, late and, you know, looking around. And that cost me one SP. Okay. Shadow Point. For those of you. This is a new class that we're trying to Yeah, out. so apologies for this taking so fucking long, but I'm still learning this class. It's new. It's brand new. I finished it like a week ago. Oh my, I can do that too. Oh, let's do that because it's fun. It'll be the first time. Okay, what are you going to do? You didn't really put a... Yeah, you really didn't. What? Um, no, I can't do Dark Barrage on this one though. Oh well. Can I take back the Hunter's Mark? No. Damn. You already cast it. No, you can't take it back. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to do? I am going to use arrow seal, which is you can use an action to spend six SP and shoot an arrow to have the shadow of your arrow pin the target, pin the shadow of your target. Okay. Um, so I just need to roll a successful hit. I would imagine that does. Nineteen. I rolled a 18, no, yeah, sorry, 13 neat. natural plus 17, so 30. Yeah, that's, that's a hit. Plus um, 17. Hmm? Plus 17 to hit? Yeah. The Penumbra Longbow gets a plus 4 at max level. So that was no, plus it's plus 3. Let me double check my... It, yeah, it's it, plus 3. Yeah. And plus 2 for my archery. Fighting style archery. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Plus your dex. Mm hmm. Fair so enough. That's, uh, that's 96. Wait. Sneak Just plus three for the bow. Plus two, plus two for, for the archery, which is five. Plus your. Plus my dex bonus, plus my proficiency bonus. Proficiency is. So it's plus 12 on top of those bonuses. Oh, gotcha. That's right. Cause, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Because stupidly high level rogue. With got stupidly it. high dex. Got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, so I was I was just making sure I'm not going insane. 96, 1d10, 1d8, plus <laughs> 9. <laughs> Wait, uh, real quick, does the plus 2 apply to damage as well with the archery fighting style, or is no, that just to hit? No, it's just to hit. Okay, uh, that was a question I meant to ask before. What, uh, what does the seal do? Um, he needs to make an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Gets DC twenty or become paralyzed. Oh. <laughs> it's DC twenty. Uh huh. So I gotta roll a fucking twenty, because his intelligence is plus one. Twenty. Yeah. I might need to nerf that. Yeah, I don't know what you well, just. No. I don't know what you did with this character. Well, no, the reason it's that much. Let me find it. It's eight plus. Plus proficiency bonus plus dex mod because my dex mod is so high. It's that's why the. Because it's twelve plus eight. Oh shit. Because I have twenty two dex. From my book. Okay, I'll have to, to uh, adjust that. <laughs> Let's because intelligence is something. Like I picked intelligence at first because it's not usually something a lot of people have a lot of. But I might make it. I mean, just that's just a fact. It's true. It's it's frequently a dump stat. Uh, I'm not sure, wizard. That's I might really change that to con. One. Today or? Let's 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 change the con. Oh, okay. 
I'm the hell he's gonna chance. <laughs> just automatic fucked. Automatic paralysis. Oh my. Nah, I still didn't get it. Oh, it Twenty. See, workshopping it <laughs> mid game. Twelve. So he's paralyzed. Twenty. Yes. He's paralyzed until the start of your next round. Is that right? Makes the saving throw again every round. It's like the spell or the the effect. I got it. So it's for a minute. For up to a minute. Um, let me double check the. Arrow seal. Um, all it says, because I copied this directly from your PDF. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I can reroll. Um, on a failed save, the target is paralyzed. Saving throw can be rerolled at the end of each of the target's turns. There's no ah. time limit on it. I'm using indom uh, Indomitable. I can reroll. Okay. Reroll a saving throw? Yeah. Shit, it's not <laughs> like enough. Oh, I'm still trying to do damage here. Okay. Um,. Whoa, we'll have that. 12, 20. I will consider that. 30, Is that like a 14th level thing? 38. I didn't write down the levels. Okay. Okay, cool. Fifty-three damage. Sorry, it took me a second. 53 damage. Okay. Alright. That was shot number one. Some of you actually have potions and they'll, they'll function as well. Yeah, I wish M had some potions. I wish I knew I was about to get fucking teleported oh, by goddamn Santa Claus. Wait, I forgot. Hunter's Mark. Brings up the question it's any items damage. we use here, will we get them restored back when we go back? Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Making sure. Uh, 54 damage, by the way. I forgot Hunter's Mark. I don't usually use Hunter's Mark, so. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> All right, um, and, so and you're paralyzed. And then my second attack, now that you're paralyzed, I'm at advantage. Uh, you're in the tree. Those on the He's column. Like, you got the boots on. On the column. You got spider boots on. Well, you're on top of the column. Oh. That's okay. That's a nat 20. Uh, you, it would just be a, a regular roll. I guess he's prone, like on top of the column. He's paralyzed, though. Yeah, but prone, like ranch attacks against a prone target have disadvantage. Oh, I'll reroll. That's still fucking amazing. That's a 35. It'll kind of cancel itself out. 35, <laughs> okay, that's a hit. So that's, for sure. It's still a D8 and a D10 plus 9. I'll get my sneak attack again, though. Oh, well. So that's 6. Plus nine, fifteen. Okay. Sigh. Do you want to move? Oh, uh, you're no longer invisible. I know. I'm aware. I am, however, going to cast. No, no, no. I've got Hunter's Mark up. I'll be good. Well, you, well, you can't cast anything right now, anyway. That's right. You've already used all of your actions. What is Sigh going to do? Sigh. All invisible and shit. Okay, can he see Evander? Perception check, please. Uh, with disadvantage, because he's, he's prone on top of the column. Can Maybe he see either Evander does. or Vlad? What do your Because Vlad is no Well, he has to move out from behind the building. Is he going to move out? Really? That's awesome. He said disadvantage, right? Rolled two 11s. So, no, I can't see him. Okay, so he's going to have to move. Be able to do how high, like how high are these walls here? It's it's like a building, like a full building, like covered like, and everything. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. So me being in hide here, I'm basically hidden more or less. Yeah. Inside anyway. But like, not that it's ultimately relevant because you have your vision. Yeah. But like people could drop AOE spells in there. And <laughs> True. <laughs> you're kind of Did you get in there the first round of the second? You're in a round? box. Second round. Okay, so so I would have seen him go into that building. Him would have as well. Yeah, probably. Yep. All right, so uh, there we got the boots clicked. So let's see. And he's invisible, which will grant advantage. Which, advantage, which will Actually, it won't. I have blind sense. I can oh, see you right. now. Oh, that's right. He's a high level rogue. 
<laughs> That's funny. Uh, give me a, well. Let's do perception versus stealth. Hmm? I said, well, let's do perception versus stealth. Okay. I'm gonna go to the ethereal plane, have a pint, wait for this all to blow over. Go to the Winchester, have a pint. Yeah, got it. <laughs> um, wow. Thirty-seven again. What? Oh, oh. I think I was just where the AC kicked off. Oh. Actually, no, that was a 38. 38 stealth? Yeah. I only rolled a 27. Okay. For the sake of this... Actually, 28, because I keep forgetting that. We will say that you have... You will have the advantage just because you're like, rush up on him. Ah! And it's like, oh, I see you already. <laughs> like, when you're right there. <laughs> All They're right. about to get me. Oh, so, no. first attack is going to be with... It's also going to kill sneak attack damage, doesn't it? See. Oh, yeah. Uh, first off, Hunter's Mark. Mm hmm. Um, let's see. Alicardio's got the best damage. Also, the best ability. Yes, it does. Alicardio steals health. Huh. Like it's That will it. probably save size ass. Yes, it will. Here. I mean, he's got pretty good hit points. He's got 250. Um,. Let's see. Wait, my hit points are probably not where they're at. They're supposed to be more. I'm going from 14 to 18, so my hit points should be higher than that, right? Should yeah. be 18 times. Um, oh, four. It should be the same as my hit points, actually. What are yours? I'm a rogue. What's your con? Well, I have a, I have a, 19 con. You have the amulet of health too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you should have it's 216. 216. Okay. That's what that makes me not feel as woefully unprepared for this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So does a um, fuck ton hit you? Yes. <laughs> it's a thirty-two. Oh yeah, that'll hit me. Does a fuck ton hit you? And of course, uncanny dodge. So I take half the damage. From one of the hits, so I get three. Hmm. No, he gets two because he uses bonus action for Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So sneak attack is. Oh, he's got it all right here. Yeah. He drew out this this sweet dice map for himself. Ooh. Six. Twelve. Twenty-two. Twenty-five. That's two. Twenty-seven. Plus ten. Thirty-seven. Um, and the stored health is just from the from the uh, necro die, right? Yeah. So I didn't really declare that first, so I'll just take one of one of the twos on that to keep it fair. Okay, so I take twenty-seven. Uh, yes. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Okay. You said twenty-seven first, and then you added. Yeah, that. I forgot the plus ten. No, you're fine. Um. Um. And size no longer invisible. Uh, as a reaction, I cast Hellish Rebuke. Nice. Fine. Mm -hmm. What's so, my save? Uh, dexterity saving. Oh, I've got that in the fucking bag. I know you do. So you but it's, more. it's a specific target, so you can't use evasion. What's the DC for that? Uh, can use Uncanny Dodge. That's true, you can. Um, mm. Does a fuck ton work? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Um, saving throw? Mm hmm. Uh, fuck ton. 32. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you'll take half. I'll take quarter if he, since he's using uncanny dodge. Right. Okay, so roll it. Wow. So much damage. So I roll a 12. So, so a quarter of 12. Three. Three. three damage. Three, damage. <laughs> three fire damage. Or hellfire. So there you go. Take that. That's That's great. Yeah, so Sai Sai runs in there, slashy slashy. <laughs> I haven't even done slashy slashy yet. I'm only at slashy. And uh, I still have one more slashy left. Fire kind of runs up the blade and, and burns his hand a little bit. He's like, "Ow!" It's like, "Oh, yeah, oh, bastard!" Rude. <laughs> Don't hit demons. <laughs> okay, That's a so once per long rest thing. Uh, no, it's a uh, one of my spells. <laughs> It's, oh, a, it's, it's a reactionary a spell. It's a tiefling thing. Yeah. Well, right, but I think that's 
Yeah, the it's, tiefling it's version, the tiefling true. variant of it is just once per long rest. <coughs> true. Um, uh -oh. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Blocked. <laughs> Blocked. Hey, come here, buddy. All right, so. Yeah. Pretty cool. I don't know what I'm doing. So the second attack's going to be with Sinclair. Because I love Sinclair. With potential to hit. To crit. Yeah, it didn't crit, though. It was a 17 plus 14. Oh, so close. It crits on an 18. I know. Uh, so 17 plus 14, I'm going to... What's your AC? It's 18. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Basically, at this point, you just, like, riding out to see who takes the least amount of damage. Because you're pretty much going to hit every time, unless you just roll shitty. For the most part, yeah. But here's the thing, I'm not a ranged character. Or I'm not a melee character, I'm a ranged character. True. I mean, I've got my spells, but... So that's really awful. Six, mm -hmm. seven, uh, fifteen. And, uh... Yeah, it'll be a you already used your reaction, so... That eight. was... That was sixty? Was that sixty to get there? That's right. For me. Here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, yeah, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Go around that brazier. Oh. That's it for me. All right. I think that's more than enough for one round. Evander. All right. So uh, saving throw. We'll make a constitution. Yep. I think I might have screwed it up with, with intelligence. Uh, I'm going to go into Indomitable again. You, you only get a certain number of those. Just three of those, but fuck it. What's the matter? Three, but fuck it. Three per long rest. I think we're out of time. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yes, we, we are, are out of time. Oh, All right. yeah, we were. I'll we'll take be, that one. No. <laughs> we'll be right back. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Later. He's still parallel.